So who is Concord for? More importantly, if you're Sony, how do you pay money for this studio in this game? I mean, it has a fantastic cast of characters, like Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy, or Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy. What's that? You want more original characters? Not a big Guardians of the Galaxy fan? Okay, how about Body Positive Androgynous Pat? Side note here, I mean this quite literally, by the way. I really didn't know this was supposed to be a guy before researching for this video. I really need to know who at Sony thought that they really needed this game as part of their roster. Sony, hear me out. This is a game where you hope that people will purchase skins for characters that are either completely unoriginal or just plain unappealing visually. It's mind-boggling to have a character be this androgynous because it's not something people associate with strong, recognizable character identity. For God's sakes, I made the Pat joke because there's a long-running series of SNL skits and a movie based solely around the joke that people couldn't stand not knowing what they were looking at. Look at your competitors here. How visually unique and recognizable are their characters? How about we take a few examples from Overwatch just to nail this point home? Here is Winston. He's basically Harambe in a spacesuit. How about McCree, who looks like a character pulled straight out of a spaghetti western? Great care was obviously taken to make sure that the character design was left as significant and a visual impression as possible. Meanwhile, you have characters like Paintball Chad here. You clearly didn't understand the assignment. This is maybe why your live service push was a bad idea, because you clearly don't understand how monetization works in a live service model. The idea that you thought anyone would pay 40 bucks to buy into this game when it has better free-to-play competitors, on top of that, pay for skins for what is possibly the most forgettable roster I've ever seen in a hero shooter is beyond me. So up until this point, I haven't addressed the pronoun usage, and before you start grabbing your pitchforks thinking that I'm just some dude railing against pronouns, let me correct the record here and say I don't have a problem with them in and of themselves. I fully admit that I find their usage in a fictional setting to be kind of pointless and a bit cringy, but I have no animosity toward pronoun usage in and of itself. The problems I have is not one of culture, but one of priorities. I'm fine with pronouns and pride flags and whatever else the developer wants to throw in there if everything else in the game is on point. If Firewalk had made sure to dot their I's and cross their T's, they could have free reign to do whatever they want with their content. As long as the mandatory features are there working correctly for a 5v5 hero shooter first, then by all means, knock yourselves out. That said, Concord has made it in the consumer's hands twice now without a dynamic backfill system. I played over 20 matches during the open beta with all but two that actually finished in a competitive 5v5 affair. More often than not, we would have one player quit and then another and then another and the match would spiral into a 2v5 or a 1v5 affair where the whole team was running around the map hunting for one player over and over again. These are experiences that are not only not fun, but feel like a complete waste of the player's time. The reason I bring up pronouns is that they took the time to make sure that they included the most frivolous details in the characters' bios, but couldn't be bothered to put the most basic bitch mandatory multiplayer feature in their game to ensure it functioned properly. And before you can say they can put that in later, these betas were their first impression in the player's hands and it was absolutely amateur hour to let the players associate dysfunctional matchmaking with their product. Given that this product has not an insignificant financial barrier to entry, Firewalk isn't likely to get a second chance. Nobody is going to shell out 40 bucks just to see if Firewalk bothered to add a feature that's so basic the players take it for granted. What gets me more than anything is how does this happen in the first place? It's pretty clear at this point that Concord's most likely future is not a prosperous one, and then Sony has to figure out where they go with this abysmal investment. The problem in AAA gaming is once you've failed this publicly and on this level as a studio, you've pretty much salted the earth for any future endeavors. Nobody is going to be waiting with bated breath for what Firewalk will do next after they have this disaster on their resume. This isn't like Sony Studios, like Gorilla, who couldn't find traction with Killzone until they pivoted to Horizon, or how Insomniac could never get Resistance series to take off like they'd hoped. This is more akin to where Rocksteady is right now after Suicide Squad. I think Warner Brothers put them on a definitive edition for Hogwarts because, quite frankly, the only thing they're currently useful for is polishing up someone else's work. It's quite likely that eventually Warner Brothers realizes that they oversaw the poisoning of the Rocksteady well, and the only thing left to do is to seal it up and cut their losses. That's very close to where I see Firework after all of this. If you are Sony, you can try and throw good money after bad and by having them work on another new IP, but all they will have to their name is Concord at this point, and with that being the entire catalog by which we assign their pedigree, 
It'll essentially be a void of interest surrounding that project. When you fail on this level of AAA gaming, there generally is no redemption arc because it's a gamble that is far too risky and expensive. I just hope that Sony has finally learned their lesson both in their rabid live service push and in making sure that the culture within their studios prioritizes competence over worldview, because ignoring it can have dire consequences. Anyways, I just wanted to get my thoughts on Concord in video form before this game is subsequently tossed on the ash heap of history. If you disagree, I'm streaming most nights, so feel free to stop by and tell me how wrong I am. Anyways, until next time guys, get awesome.